Okay, so I was able to restore or rebuild an old antique harp and it ended up coming out very, very bassy. And I actually really like it. Um, the reed on it is, uh, is fairly flexible and uh, um, responsive. And it actually, I, I'm able to play pretty quick on it, which is kind of unusual from what I've seen on YouTube and stuff about bass harps. Um, I've never really played too many of them, but this note ended up coming in very close to this little piece of crap, which is, uh, maybe I'm not gonna name it, you know, just in case, but harpists all know this one. Um, you get it at your typical uh, music store, uh, but um, you know, it's a playable thing. It's, it's, it's more of the equivalent of a, um, like a, a souvenir shop, ukulele sort of thing, but you get sound out of it. So it can only play in one direction. As you can see, there's the triggers, you know, you can kind of force it. You know, but anyway, so that's your run of the mill, typical whatever from the local music store. This is the one I rebuilt. Now, keep in mind, when I picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace, the read on it was super stiff. I have no idea how old this was. I've determined that I think it is kind of a souvenir because it says England on the bottom arm of the frame. And I couldn't figure out for the longest time what it said on the top. But today I saw it in just the right light. And I'm pretty convinced it says made in. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm looking at the camera kind of backwards right now. But anyway... So it played, it sounded kind of like this, um, but a much higher tone and was basically very hard to play. So anyway, this is the difference. Let's listen to this again. There's not much you can really do with it. Now that was called a draw start. So I have a draw start on the one that I made. And so forth. Got a little carried away there. Sorry about that. <laughs> 